Faye Izana, welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast and if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist, I write, record and produce my own music and I also film these weekly podcast episodes, we are talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more and for this video it was requested, I got a DM from one of you lovely people on Instagram and she asked me to talk about anxiety and stress which this is really easy for me to talk about because it's something that I experience so, so much and even now still experience so, so much. So it's definitely something that I know a lot of us deal with. So I'm gonna share my perspective on it and hopefully it helps you. But obviously I would just like to put a disclaimer, I am not qualified in mental health or any of that kind of stuff. I'm just merely sharing my perspective because it's something that I've experienced and something that I've got myself through. So hopefully this video helps you and I feel like in order to understand how to deal with something you need to know what it is. So what is anxiety and stress? It's literally our body's emotional reaction and emotional like survival mechanism to some kind of situation and experience that we're having. So a lot of us are in survival mode and we are dealing with situations that don't feel good and that make us anxious and uncomfortable and uncertain and all of those emotions build up and then that feels like stress, that brings on stress to the body because emotions get trapped in the body and when you have them like too many and they're just constantly piling up and blocking and not moving very fast and very freely, like when there's resistance to those emotions because we ignore them and we brush them to the side and we bury them, they're still there, they're not just being pushed away, they're literally being pushed further into you really and they're getting kind of stuck and trapped. So when that happens they build up and that takes its toll not only on our body but on our minds, on our hearts, on our entire being and this is where we get stress and disease can come from stress and like sickness and illness and that kind of stuff as well as depression and like mental health issues come from stress and emotional blockages so this is something that I've really experienced because I wasn't processing my emotions at all and they were getting stuck and trapped and then I was getting stressed and then that was making me depressed and then I was feeling anxious all the time and it's just like a ripple effect of us not processing our emotions like that's literally what it comes down to is we're not processing them and we're in situations that trigger them and cause them so there are two things that you can deal with. Sometimes we can't change our circumstances and we have to learn how to cope with them and other times we can change our circumstances. So first of all, I would say look around you. Look at who is around you, what is around you and figure out what things need to change and what things you can change and then work towards changing those things because that's our external circumstances and they're like they have a huge impact on our internal so if you can change them then definitely do it and if you can't then obviously this is where the internal comes into play so regardless of what's going on externally the internal is like the key and it also determines what goes on externally as well because our thoughts and everything have power so internal is like the main factor but if you can change your external I definitely would say you need to so internally emotions are coming up for whatever reason, whatever your circumstances is or whatever situation it is that you're finding stressful your emotions are coming up and a lot of the time we don't want to face them, we don't want to acknowledge that we're feeling this type of way, like sometimes we don't want to acknowledge that we're feeling anxious or that we're feeling stressed or sad or whatever it is that's coming up and these emotions are literally your signal, they're your warning sign, they're like a guidance telling you that whatever is happening is not feeling good, whatever is happening is not a nice thing, it's not a good thing, like it's literally your body's way of letting you know that whatever that thing is in your external reality needs to change and is not something that you want to be around. So we, we really need our emotions and it's a good thing that they're happening and it's a good thing that you can feel them and that you know that they're there. Like that's a good thing because it's telling you about your reality and about yourself so we don't want to get rid of them it's a part of being human and it's an amazing thing so 
what I would say is that it's about actually facing them and acknowledging that they're there. But obviously facing them is not the easiest thing, especially when you're dealing with something really traumatic or really horrific or really negative. So this is not like an easy, straightforward thing, but it is possible and it is something that you really can do and really can work towards but it requires a lot of patience with yourself and a lot of kindness towards yourself and oftentimes when we're stressed we're not being kind to ourselves because we're busy dealing with this stressful thing you know like when we're feeling anxious we're not being kind to ourselves because we then start with those thoughts they start spiraling and we're like beating ourselves up for it and then we're feeling more and more anxious more and more negative more and more like punishing ourselves for the fact that we're thinking these things and then feeling these things you know so it requires a lot of self-awareness when it comes to what you're thinking when the emotion comes up. So paying attention and like every time an emotion comes up, stopping what you're doing and just sitting with that and feeling it and allowing it to completely take over your body. Like, And that, that can sound scary to some people, but it's not... Um, like it's not anything that's gonna harm you or hurt you. It's okay to sit there and allow that anger to come through you, allow that sadness that's, that wants to come through you, allowing it to come through you. And if that means that you end up crying, let yourself cry, you know? Like it's really being present with yourself and feeling it and acknowledging that it's there and allowing it to come up. And there are also many, many tools that we can also use to do this. So there's um, something called EFT, which is emotional freedom technique, which is basically tapping where you tap on certain points of the body and it allows that emotional release to happen a lot easier without you getting stuck there and sucked into the thoughts that you're thinking that then bring the emotion up. And there's also like meditation, of course, and yoga and breath work, qigong, things like that. Um, even crystals and tarot. All of these things are just tools that you can use to get really present in your body and really allow yourself to feel and be with yourself. Like it's literally just grounding into your body rather than like being off in your thoughts and off in your mind. You're like centering yourself back to just this present moment through these tools so there's a lot of techniques that you can use to be able to do that but obviously this is not a quick fix it's not like where well, you're going to be triggered once you do this technique and then you're sorted and then anytime you get triggered like it's not going to be bad like no you have to do this constantly and consistently and it's a lifelong process where we implement these techniques as a lifestyle not just like a one-time thing it's a lifestyle so that's why it's key to choose tools and spiritual practices that actually feel good to you and benefit you and something that you want to do so you're not gonna, you don't need to do all of those techniques that I just listed. You choose whatever one you feel called towards, you know, and then you can just be consistent with it anytime you're feeling emotions. One of your techniques might be to remove yourself from that situation, go sit by yourself and meditate for 10 minutes just to allow those emotions to go through you, you know? So then you start responding instead of reacting. So there's a lot of tools that you can use to allow your emotions to move through you and they really will help when you're feeling stressed and anxious honestly they really will help one of the things I like to do is journal and sometimes I like to put um what's it called like music on the binaural bin I don't know how to say the word <laughs> as a musician that is really bad isn't it but the music with all of the frequencies that um really resonate with our chakras like I like to put that on and just breathe for a minute because that stops the thoughts from spiraling and allows you to just be in the present moment. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. And if you have any other topics and things that you want me to talk about, definitely leave a comment below or you can DM me on Instagram or you can text me. All of my information will be in the description box below as well as my links to my music so I really really appreciate you I hope you have the best day and I'll see you in the next episode bye oh yeah think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in the white tea oh yeah think you might I'm the thing you like in my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh I